Hello and welcome back to the channel, LC here. Today I have an updated guide for farming coin, and I believe this is probably gonna be the most optimal route indefinitely going forward. Now, everybody knows about the whole conquer, the arena strat and stuff like that. That's been known for like the first like two, three days of the game. It's kind of a cheese strat, but I felt like there was just a bit more to it. I felt there was a way to make it completely brain dead, which is essentially what we've done today. So you need, uh level 23 mock battle uh, in the arena. It does not have to be hard mode. In fact, I would actually recommend you putting this in easy mode um, because the gill that you get doesn't matter. So the, for this, we'll only be using two characters, which I think makes it better and makes it faster. The less characters you have to go through a mash for, the better. Now, I originally spent about an hour, I'll be honest. I spent about an hour uh, trying to do this with Federica, Quarantin, Sunfall, Glacial, uh, wall. I tried a, a number of things. I tried Azana, but oddly enough, the one mage I don't use is actually who this works the best with, and that's going to be Narv. So let me show you guys what the setup is that I have. Let's take a look real quick. So for Narv, I have, of course, the Vanguard Scarf as well as the Golden Pinky Ring. We all know that. Uh, Vanguard Scarf to allow him to go first, and then the Golden Pinky Ring to increase drops from and spoils from the enemy. And then we need Lionel. Now, Lionel is definitely the character that most people don't tend to like in this game. Uh, but it's okay. He has one utility, and he does it extremely well. And that utility is essentially... Uh, once he gets to level 50, you have to be at level 50 with him in order for this to work as efficiently as it does. So if he's at like level 20, 30, 40 and stuff like that, you'll notice that the amount of money that he gets per spoil is like 450, 500 and stuff like that. I think it goes up like 20, uh, 20 coin per each level that he gains. But once he gets to level 50, it's 1K per. So that makes this strategy completely broken. So the two things that you want to have on Lionel is the grounding amulet. Reason being is that they will push you off of this ledge and the time it would take for you to go all the way back up. Obviously, that is not an efficient path. So him not being able to be knocked down is very good. And then the second thing is the moving bangle so he can go get the spoils as quickly as possible. And you're not wasting two turns trying to get to one spoil bag. So let me show you how we want to have this set up. So we want to have Narv in front and then Lionel directly behind him, okay? So let's go ahead and start the match and let me show you guys exactly the most efficient pathing that I've found so far. And I think this is going to be it because I'm averaging around 19, 20K, 20K consistently um, for this strat. So here we go, conquer the arena. So to start off with, this is what you want to do, boys. So first thing you want to do is going to be in tandem. Lionel, move him up. Now he is going to get knocked down and that's fine. So whirlwind is quite broken in this situation. It's going to actually kill 10 opponents. So he's at level 50, of course. Um, and then whirlwind is actually pretty strong in this situation. So it's going to KO 10 people right here. So we do that. All right, so you see all the scrolls there. So this is where it gets a little tricky. You want to make sure that these people don't, these three soldiers that are left, don't pick up too many spoils. If they pick up too many spoils, then you run the risk of the match ending. And then if they have like two or three spoils each and stuff like that, or one person has hoarded like three spoils, that's three thousand dollars that you just let down the drain. So that's part another underlying part of the strat. So the second thing that you want to do is move Lionel directly behind him. Um, and you want to have it in a situation, so you want them to be positioned where they won't be around the bags. So if I put him here, that soldier will probably go there and he'll get that spoil. So the idea here is to have them not get as many spoils as possible, right? So put him directly there. That should be fine. We'll see what these two will do. Yep, it's fine. Okay, and then they'll be doing like virtually no damage. And this is really good. This is actually probably one of the most optimal ones I've found so far. Can actually just move line out here. Just move him right here. And what we're gonna do is endless speech. And this allows them both to go to sleep so we don't have to bother with them for the next two turns. All right, and then we have Narv. Now with Narv, you just wanna focus on KOing people. You don't really wanna be out here picking up spoils. The person that you want to pick up every single bag is gonna be Lionel because he gets 1K per each bag pickup. So that's the idea here. Do not pick up any bags with Narv. Once they come out of their sleep, then you just essentially want to KO one of them. Actually, you can actually KO one of them right now. Just So you just want to have one person left, right? Fine. 
and it's pretty much it from this point on is you're just picking up bags you're picking up bags and you're putting this guy to sleep over and over again that's all you're doing and this is pretty quick i had this down to about a little over a minute um without you know obviously all the talking and explaining and stuff like that it's pretty quick this is probably the, the easiest version that I found of this. Um, I did do all the experimentation with Frederica, Izana, Quarantine. I tried pretty much everything. Um, I tried Sunfall strats. I think this is definitely the fastest, and I think this is the most uh, efficient, right? This is going to be the one that is completely requires nothing. But it does require a level 50, obviously, Lionel. A lot of people might not have that because he's probably not a... A lot of people don't like him, right? He's not really a class that's too good. He's more of a support character. Um, and there's better support characters, but for this strat, he is godlike. Um, so there, let's go ahead and end that. And you want to keep him alive. What's going to probably end up happening here is that this soldier is going to knock him off at some point. It's fine. Stay here. The only thing you don't want to happen is you don't want that guy to pick up a bag, which he might here in a second. No, he didn't. Okay, good. So he's going to knock him off. So there's two more bags there. Stop here. So this is already, I think we're already at like eleven, twelve thousand dollars $12,000 as far as pickups. Like there's been a bunch of spoils. And another thing about this map is that in the bottom left hand corner, there's always going to be a bag that, that generates at the bottom there. And that's an extra thousand dollars if you want to do that as well. I didn't find it really uh, conducive to try and get that bag because you got to go down there and then go back up and stuff like that. It just wasn't worth my time. And then you just use spark at the end to kill them. And this is, this is definitely by far the fastest route. Uh, the most painless one so between uh the whirlwind look at that ten thousand dollars right there and then that's not factoring in all the bags that he picked up every single bag that he picked up is a thousand so i think this actually cracked over 20k this is the first time it actually cracked over 20k Twenty-four thousand. <laughs> oh my god so that one did twenty-four thousand. I, I had 460 i just spent all that money on resources uh so twenty-four thousand in that one draw that's pretty good uh, I'm not going to say that there won't be better ones that come out, but I think for the amount of effort that this one takes, which is virtually nothing, um, the real hard part of this, air quotes, hard part of this is to get Lionel up to level 50. And if you don't use Narv, get him, get him high as well. But for end game, late game, this is definitely de facto the best one for sure. I don't think there's going to be a better one. Um, I'll keep tinkering around. That's pretty much what I've been doing the last days, trying to figure out what work, work, works best. Um, but let me know. Um, there's also been a lot of questions. Please let me know. Uh, hit me in Discord. Hit me in the Triangle Strategy Discord. Those guys there are geniuses, and they've come up with a lot of strats so far. So hit me in the Triangle Strategy Discord. Uh, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe. There's going to be a lot of Triangle content. This is the fourth video I'm doing so far. We are going to also discuss what characters are the best. Uh, but yeah, we're trying to get to 1,000 subs. So if you guys can follow, make sure you subscribe. Um, and then, yeah, just let me know what you want next. But I'm just going to keep tinkering around. Let me know uh what strats you want next but i think that i have a few ideas already in work but uh yeah lc signing out i'll talk to you guys later peace